Hello, I will show you in this video how we do version control for out TIA portal projects using GitHub. TIA portal program is exported in form of XML or SQL, as you can see in the table, and then pushed to GitHub, which stores program online. GitHub manages version control in a repository. When someone else works on the same project, access to the same repository can be granted. Apart from TIA Portal, we need Automation Compare Tool, Option to get Block View, Git Open Source Version Control, Git Add-in from Siemens, GitHub Account, and although all software is free, there are some limitations. Currently, we cannot use it for library types and hardware. Links to software you will find below video. We won't show in this video process of installing Git, but there are many videos available on the internet. First PLC programmer works on PLC code containing some various languages and safety code. Programmer created version control interface and PLC code is currently synced with JIT, what is indicated by green circles. And this is GitHub repository containing exported source from PLC. we can view source code here. To add new users, we need to add new collaborators to repository. You can see in the bottom right corner that two users are contributing to the repo. Second PLC programmer receives copy of the program. He needs now to link it to the same repository. You can already see in his GitHub account history of the changes from PLC Programmer 1 
Next step is to version control workspace to local folder for Git. If folder location is correct, circles will turn green. Let's do some changes to SCL block. We can see that circle changed from green to blue-gray, indicating changes. Select Export Arrow to sync changed block with local Git folder. Synchronization is now complete. Let's check GitHub Desktop. We can see new added code highlighted in green. We can add comment with information of our changes. Next, press commit to add it to GitHub. And the push origin button. PLC Programmer 1 can now pull changes from GitHub and add them to his project. Code changes and engineer comments can be read from GitHub interface. When we open VCI and TIA portal, we can see change to standard block. Let's open the block before we click sync button. There are no changes yet from programmer 2. Select Import and click Sync button. Sync is complete. We can open the block to see if changes are imported. There is graphical way of comparing changes. We do it in next example. Let's do more changes and push them to GitHub. This time we will change safety block too.
We can see all changes to blocks, including PLC tags. We can select all for export by clicking arrows from top toolbar. And then sync button. We have option to commit and push updates from TIA portal, but my preference is to review it from GitHub interface. Here we can quickly review what changed. Let's add comments and push updates. Second programmer can't see changes yet, but he gets notified by Git that new commit doesn't exist locally. Clicks pull button and waits until fetch is complete. All changes can be seen now in TIA Portal. This time before sync, we will open them and review an ACT tool. We added PhotoCell to wake up input in Zone 1. Difference is highlighted. Difference is highlighted as well. For new e-stop, we added to safety block. Final step, select all to import and click sync button. All done, we can save project. History of all changes can be seen from GitHub. We can see a date and who made changes. That's all in this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos.